A set of decorative lights consists of a string of lamps. Each lamp is rated 5 volts and 0.4 watts and it is connected in series to a 220 volt supply. We know in series that the energy used by that one plus the energy used by that one plus the energy used by that one plus the potential difference used by that one okay and each one will add up to the total so the number of lamps in the set so that the lamp operates at the correct voltage so each one needs 5 and there's 220 volts so I go 220 and I divide it by 5 and land up with 44 lamps what will the current in the circuit be well I've got information about each lamp so I need to have the right amount of current going through there and the current is going to be power is equal to V times I the power is 0 comma 4 the car the potential difference is 5 so the current turns out to be 0 comma 0 8 amps what is the resistance of each lamp so again I'm going to use information that I've got here and I'm going to use an equation P is equal to V squared over R ideally I don't want to use the current I just calculated because otherwise maybe I'm carrying my mistake um, over R is equal to 0 comma 4 so if I rearrange that R turns out to be equal to 62 comma 5 ohms the total electricity transferred by the set of lights in two hours. So, energy transferred is work done. Work done is power times time. The entire set, each one, is going to transfer 0, 0,4, but there are 44 of these lamps along the way, for a period of time of two hours, which is 7,200 seconds. And so I land up with 126,000 720 joules. In the circuit below, the resistance of the connecting wires, ammeter and switch can be ignored. The voltmeter has a very high resistance and the battery has significant internal resistance. When the switch is open, the voltmeter reaches, reads 9 volts. When the switch is closed, the ammeter has a reading of 600 milliamps. So the first thing is to identify what's going on. So I'm going to go from my battery along until I hit a resistor. I'm going to do the same thing from the other side until I hit a resistor. Then I'm going to go like this. And what becomes very apparent is that I have got a parallel network here and the 4 ohm thing is in series. Uh, um, resistor is in series. The voltmeter is, we ignore voltmeters and things like that. They are just measuring devices between two points on the circuit. So I also know that this is 0, 0,6 amps. And since these have the identical resistance, this side, this branch will also be 0, 0,6 amps, which means that when I'm on the main branch of the circuit, I would put, bring them together and I'll end up with 1, 2 amps. Um, calculate the total resistance of the external circuit. This little R over here is part of the internal circuit, so we're not interested in that. So let's just go external. 1 over R parallel is equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 which is therefore equal to 2 over 6, invert it and you get R parallel is equal to 3 ohms. Onto the total external, I've got the parallel network 3 plus the series resistor 4 and I land up with 7 ohms. Show that the main branch current, you have to show that, so just saying it's 1 comma 2 isn't particularly helpful. You need to say 0 comma 6 plus 0 comma 6 equals 1 comma 2 and maybe even say something along the lines of parallel branches or something like that. Calculate the internal resistance of the battery. So if I want the internal resistance I'm going to need the total potential difference altogether. So if I just look at the when the switch is open it says the voltmeter reads 9 volts. So that is an EMF. If I use the EMF and I say um, total resistance, not external, not internal, total, is equal to EMF divided by series current. That is equal to 9 volts and I divide that by 1, 2 
and I find that my total total resistance of the whole circuit is going to be 7,5 ohms. Therefore, what can I appropriate? I've got 7 ohms on the outside and 7,5 altogether, so the internal resistance is 7,5 minus 7, which is equal to 0, 0,5 ohms. Calculate the reading on the voltmeter when that switch is closed. So now I need to just consider the external circuit. So V1 is equal to um, I times R. We're on the external circuit, so the current is the main branch, 1,2. The resistance of the external circuit is 7, and I land up with 8,4 volts. So my last volts is 0, 0,6 volts. Explain why the voltmeter reading changes when the switch is closed. So now we've got an explanation over here, and it's obviously got to do with um, the concept of internal resistance. And... Um, so you need to obviously say internal resistance. Requires some potential to drive the current through the circuit. Electricity is charged out in a unit called kilowatt hours. Convert those joules into kilowatt hours. There are a few different ways you could possibly do that. The first one is to say a kilowatt hour is different from a watt second. So a joule is a watt second, which is 6 times 10 to the power of 5 watts multiplied by 1 second. So how do I change that into kilowatts? I divide through by 1,000. So I land up with 6 times 10 to the 2 kilowatts multiplied by 1 second in hours is 1 3,600th of an hour. And that is therefore equal to 0,17 kilowatt hours. Some people will just divide by 3,600,000, but this is going back to first principles. And then finally, we have to work out the cost of a certain appliance. A computer is left on for 18 hours a day, drawing 20 watts. Calculate the annual cost of electricity in 2015 if it is charged at 120 per kilowatt hour. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say if it's 20 watts, that is, um, work done is equal to power times time. The power is 0, 0,02 kilowatts. And how long do we leave it on for? 18 hours per day. 18 hours. So in one day, I use 0, 0,36 kilowatt hours each day. In the year 2015, we had 365 days, so therefore I use 0, 0,36 times 365 days, and that is equal to 131,4 kilowatt hours per year. Then I need to work out the cost. They tell me that it's going to be 1 rand 20 per kilowatt hour. So the cost is equal to 131,4 kilowatt hours times 1 rand 20. And I find I get 157,68. In other words, it costs you over 150 rand if you just leave your computer on all the time, which um, is a bit of a waste. You might as well switch it off when you're not using it.